there, winos. This is Vince Dot Wine. So I happened to just be browsing the wine aisles at BevMo today, and I ran into a label that I've started to recognize at local wine bars and restaurants. This is Substance Cabernet Sauvignon from Washington State. I'm really, really excited to pop the cork on this bad boy and see what all the hype is about on today's Wine Lab. Thanks for joining me. And before we get started today, if you want to be a winoceros, hit subscribe on this channel to become a wino today. I'll put out new videos every single Saturday, so be sure to hit that bell icon to stay notified for more great wine content. I have been really looking forward to an opportunity to talk about Washington wines. So taking a look at our map, you can see Washington is above California on the West Coast, Oregon up above that, and Washington just above that, in case you're not familiar with USA West Coast geography. And you may think of Washington as a place that never sees any sunshine, right? What is it, a Grey's Anatomy? It's always super, super rainy and cold and wet. Seattle is, is always the rainy place, but in actuality, Columbia Valley, which is where our wine is from today, it's more sunshine on average than Napa Valley. It's also a little bit larger than Napa Valley, and it makes up 99% of the wine production in all of Washington. Now, Columbia Valley also includes sub AVAs. You've got Yakima Valley, as well as Walla Walla, and then one of my personal favorites is actually Red Mountain. And when the AVA was only about 10 years old, about 2011, I was there drinking Col Solare. They were doing some wines from Red Mountain, which is a really up and coming place. So let me know in the comments if you guys want to see some Red Mountain wine reviews from that AVA. But for today, we are just sort of in the overarching AVA of Columbia Valley. So the whole idea behind Substance is that the winemakers really wanted to produce a wine that could be the best bang for your buck. They wanted to give you the highest quality Cabernet Sauvignon for $15. The front is uh, technically actually not the front label since there's no alcohol on there and you have to have that so uh, just a quick fact that's actually technically the back label here but there's the brand name Washington State Substance Cabernet Sauvignon 2019 and I'm not sure why they do this sort of periodic table of elements look here I couldn't really find any reference to that but they do that for the Chardonnay it's CH and their Merlot ME and then on the back of the bottle um, it talks about a little bit about their mission here the quality of being important valid significant and having substance and Charles Smith there is the winemaker. 100% Cabernet Sauvignon. Now one of the things that you can do when trying to make a more affordable wine is actually use lighter glass. So this is um, pretty light. The glass feels really light here. This is a simple black capsule on top. It's not printed in any way. So even though the bottle is sleek and cool looking, they definitely saved us winos on the expense of their bottle. So I will go ahead. Somebody please tell Cork Pops uh, about my channel. So I'm really excited because Robert Parker, Jeb Dunnock, and even other YouTubers have given this wine a really good review. And like I said, I have seen it in restaurants and wine bars. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this Cabernet Sauvignon. So in the glass here, we've got uh, sort of actually a, a ruby red color here with medium to low concentration. I can see my hand pretty well through that. We can sort of read the cork right there through this as well. So it's not gonna be too opaque in there. Now, one of the other things that really drew me to how serious they take their wine here is that this wine is completely unfiltered and it's a wild ferment, which means they use native yeast. They're not adding anything in here. It's the yeast that grows on the fruit that's eating those sugars and turning this into alcohol. And that adds to that sense of place because that's a yeast that you're not going to get anywhere else in the world. It comes only from the vineyard where they get this fruit. That's a really serious serious style of winemaking, so let's take the nose. Ah, okay, I'm gonna give that about a medium intensity on the nose. It's not like jumping out of the glass. Oh, but from what I can get out of that, oh my goodness, there is some beautiful, beautiful terroir in there. The fruit is not the first thing that hits me. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of like gravelly, soily, stony thing in here, really lovely. And then I'm getting a kiss of spice and the fruit is underneath all that and it does come off slightly jammy now that's probably because of the youth this is a 2019 typically cab has more of that sort of star anise black currants and there's a little bit of those things in there but it's definitely very young fruit um let's get this on the palate 
Oh, that's good. Okay, this is yummy. This is doing what um, I really like from sort of like French wines that are inexpensive, where you get all of that sort of terroir, all of that sort of complexity from those old world regions without having to spend top dollar. And so this is giving me that complexity and terroir of our new world Columbia Valley, Washington State wine growing region. But after that, where it falls apart a little bit is on the structure. So this is is a pretty medium body and it does come in with some rush of tannin on the finish. Um, they're just sort of hit the tip of the tongue there. They're not really grabbing at my gums. So about medium tannin structure there. Medium alcohol and maybe medium plus acidity. It, it, it's um, there, there is a semblance of balance here. It, it's not leaning too far in either direction. And the finish is about medium. So structurally, I could use just a bit more happening on the palate. Ooh, there's actually a little bit bit of coffee in there as well. Kind of nice. Okay, can I tell you something? This is really delicious. Here's the thing. Yes, it's missing a little bit in structure, but for $15, I'm totally okay with that because it is offering me so much in the way of flavor. When it's on the palate, this is so delicious. And not to mention, oh, I could smell this wine all day. Day. It just is giving me so much complexity on the nose. And yeah, I kind of got to get way deep in there, but oh, when I do that, it's just gorgeous. I got to be honest with you, for a daily, just everyday sort of go-to drinking wine uh, at $15, this is probably one of the finest cabs you're going to find in that category. It is definitely an outstanding wine. By no means would I give this, you know, in the upper 90s because of that structure. I would give it a solid 89 points here. Uh, Vince Not Wine doesn't typically give points, but if we did, um, I would give it a solid 89. Really, really a lovely wine. And I'm excited to see what else they put out. They're doing Merlot, Cab Franc, and Chardonnay now. So this is going to be definitely a, a wine to keep your eye on. You know, my final word on this is that it has that wow factor. It has that mmm factor to it. So even though it, it does have structural issues, every single sip, I find myself going, ah, oh. No. After every single sip, no joke, every time I get this glass up to my nose, ah, it just makes me say yum. And then I put it on the palate and I just go yum. Every single sip is gonna make you say wow. That's a good wine. Well, there you have it, winos. I am really glad I picked this bottle up. I will definitely keep an eye out for the other substance wines. But for now, I gotta say, I'm really happy with this find. Let me know in the comments what you winos think. I would love to hear your opinion on substance Cabernet Sauvignon and their other wines as well. If you enjoyed what you saw here today, please leave me a like. That helps so much. Don't forget to share this video with your wine friends. And until next time, winos, drink safe and drink well. Cheers. So taking a look at our map, you can see Washington is above Oregon, California. Uh, or Oregon, California. So you've got California on...